Friends, we welcome you to this worship done in the style of worship, chanting, candle lighting, as is done in Tizé, France. Welcome to this service here at Colonial Park, United Church of Christ, where no matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are welcome here. I'm Pastor Cindy and I'm here with Pastor Scott as we join together in reading and song and music and candle lighting to find rest, to find a bit of peace and calm in a time of uncertainty and fear. I invite you in preparation for this service to consider having a couple of candles in front of you that you light and especially lighting one at the time uh, where we offer praying closer to the light and celebrating the light of Christ that is with us. That you can do that hands-on exercise right where you are. We invite you to silence those distractions that you are able to around you, whether it be a cell phone or a TV or something else, so that this can be a time of quiet and meditation. Hopefully you are able to follow along with the bulletin for this service and you will notice that there are points where we have silent meditation Rather than recording those silences, we invite you to hit pause on your recording and be silent for as long as you wish and as long as you feel led to pray in the quiet. Friends, over the entrance to the Church of Reconciliation and at the community of Tizé, France, are these words. Be reconciled, all you who enter here, parent and children, husbands and wives, believers and those who cannot believe, Christians and their fellow Christians. Let us worship our Lord together in joy. Steps along the 
Psalm 16. Preserve me, God. I take refuge in you. I say to you, Lord, you are my God. My happiness lies in you alone. portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my prize. The lot marked out for me is my delight. Welcome indeed is the heritage that falls to me. My soul. Bless you, Lord, you give me counsel, and even at night direct, direct my heart. I keep you, Lord, ever in my sight. Since you are at my right hand, I shall stand firm. rejoices my soul is glad even my body shall rest in safety for you will not leave my soul among the dead nor let your beloved know decay of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, at your right hand, happiness forever. You are invited at this time to pause your recording to spend some time in silent meditation. Pressing play when you are ready to resume. Hear this reading from Romans chapter 8. 
verses 18 through 24. I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory about to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not of its own will, but by the will of the one who subjected it in hope that the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to decay, to decay and will obtain freedom, the freedom of the glory of the children of God. We know that the whole creation has been groaning in labor pains until now, and not only the creation, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit groan inwardly while we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we were saved. Now hope that is seen is not hope. For who hopes for what is seen? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. In English, we could say, how can we ignite the fire of hope? You are invited into a time of silent meditation on that phrase and on your God. Please pause the recording for as long as you wish. 
and resume when you are ready to continue. We read further in Romans 8, No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. of intercession. O oh Christ, you see the pain of the exiled and the abandoned. Take their suffering upon yourself. Christ, when lies and worries tempt us to forsake you, your Holy Spirit remains always within us. When our hearts become heavy, make them transparent like a springtime in flower. happiness to your servants. Enable us to live lives rooted in your trust. life is hidden with you in God. Your joy penetrates to the depths of our souls. Let us join together in our Lord's Prayer 
saying the words that are most familiar to you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Friends, we come to a time where we have a celebration of the light. You are invited to light a candle where you are, even if, it's a, it, even if it is a virtual one, and pray closer to the light. We will light some candles here on your behalf as we celebrate the light of Christ, which is a sign of our identity as Christians, as children of the light, even in dark times. Let us join in our closing prayer. O Christ, you take upon yourself all of our burdens, so that freed of all that weighs us down, we can constantly begin anew to walk with a lightened step, from worry towards trusting, from the shadows towards the clear flowing water, from our own will towards the vision of the coming kingdom. And then we know, though we had hardly dared to hope it, that you offer to make every human being a reflection of your face. Amen. My friends, go with this blessing. The God of infinite goodness, throughout the ages, has persevered in claiming and reclaiming all people. 
surrounded with witnesses to aid in your journey, renew your call to repentance. God grants us the time to fashion our lives anew. Let us receive it through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen.